Hi, welcome to my first tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this particle effect that you see here was coming off the character. But it'll only be a basic version, but yeah. Uh, there'll be a file in the description that you can download, this will be this picture here. And you'll be needing this to create the particles. So here's the base and I'll be duplicating this layer. Then we go to filter, distort, displace, 100, 100, stretch to fit and wrap around, OK, and then with the file that you would have downloaded, you'll be using this here, and then bam, you see how easy it is. The, the, the only hard part now is really integrating it into the actual design without it looking more well, messy. So I've got my tablet out at the moment, and all we're going to do is load it a pace a bit so we can see underneath it and we're just going to get rid of all the excess stuff that we don't need and here we go so as you can see it is, for the result you're getting it's pretty good and you can't complain well you can but I mean yeah so as you can see I've worked around like I said I'm not going to go into depth of it because I use your imagination you can do a lot of stuff with this you can take some out make it like a bit, some parts a bit further away than others by cutting some of it away go there and then put the opacity back up and there we go so We've got a basic, or extremely basic part of it so far. You can see it still sort of looks a bit horrible. Uh, I'll duplicate this layer, put it over the top, and do it as screen. And it sort of it blends it a bit better. I don't know. It depends if you want your characters to be brighter or not. I think it looks a bit nicer, brighter, especially on this dark grey background. And here I'm going to change this to, was it different? No, it wasn't difference. I'll try to find it now. There we go. Divide. And here we go. We have now, it sort of looks like water getting poured off the face. And then you can say if you've got any brushes, I've got a good amount of brushes here. Get some splatter brushes. Add it in the background. It's not going to happen if I've got scattering that on there. And keep working on this. Get rid of some of this, sort of make it. There we go, got that. And you can turn the opacity down a little if you want. Get this here. It is looking nice already. Maybe get another one. This one's a bit more intense. And there we go. And you could just put a gradient map over. There we go, really, you've got quite a watery feel to it. I mean, it even looks quite nice like that, it's a bit too dark there. I don't know about you, but I quite like the look of that already. And then, I mean, it is a bit too bright, so we'd have le add levels in, darken it out a little bit more. But I mean, for that little bit of time spent, got a nice effect. And yeah, that's, that's it. That's it for now. Comment if you'd like more tutorials, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it.